There are lots of fun things to do in a garden. One among many is seed harvesting. I love collecting seeds from various plants, edibles and flowers both. Um, it reduces my need to purchase more plants and more seed packets. If I learn how to collect the seeds that I love the most, then I can replant them uh, again next season. There are some plants that are just so easy to harvest seeds from that there's really no need to go buy that plant or a seed packet of that thing ever again. If we just learn where the seeds are, we can harvest them, we can plant them again next year, or share them with friends, or maybe this plant did so well in this part of the garden, I wanna try it in another part of the garden. Hollyhock's one of them. These are really easy to grow in the high desert. I recommend them, they're so pretty. They tolerate our heat and they come in so many different colors. But say I have just this color or this and the red one I'm growing over in the other spot. Um, I wouldn't go buy a hollyhock. I would visit a friend who has hollyhocks and ask for one of these. Take a look. After the flower dies back, it leaves a little pod. And I'm not gonna harvest it when it's green. Take a look here. I wouldn't take this one. But look at this one that's gone brown or tan color and it's even cracking open inside there look at that this is the seed pod that's a seed let's take a couple of these off come down here. A lot of times I like to do this over a container. But there you go. These are the seeds. So then I would just take a Ziploc bag and a Sharpie. And that was a pale pink hollyhock. And it's 2021. And throw all those seeds into the Ziploc. And you have seeds to spread in your yard next spring or to give to a friend who wants pale pink hollyhocks I'm just gonna grab a couple more and throw them right in this bag that one handed. Anyway, there we go. Do that. And here's the dry pods. There's the seeds inside. I have 
have a small collection of dead flowers here, three of them. This one, I'm embarrassed to say, I do not know, because I wasn't watching what died. If it's a zinnia or a cosmos, I had those in the same area. Here's the seeds. This is the dead head of the flower. Look at all those seeds. So this is fun for me. I couldn't tell by the dead head if it was a zinnia or a cosmos, but now that I now that I have the seeds in hand, these are cosmos seeds. So these are cosmos seeds. There. And I'll put those in the ground in different spots in my yard. Look at that. Let's see if I can get some more cosmos going because those are pretty. It's a pretty flower. This one here is a dead marigold. And this is what the seeds look like. Almost this like a pokey or something that you would get stuck in your socks out hiking or something, but that's a marigold seed. And so then for harvesting marigolds, you take a dead head. This is so fun. Look at this. You open it up, it's just filled with seeds. Look at that. I love it. So you can plant marigolds all around your yard. I really, if you run out of marigolds, ask a friend for a dead head from their yard. Okay, this one. This is called Love in a Mist or Nigella. This is Love in a Mist or Nigella. N-I-G-E-L-L-A. Comes in whites, blues, and pinks. It's really pretty to grow. And I've never seed harvested Nigella before. But I can hear them in there. And if I look in there, I see something black. So I'm guessing there is a little seed down in there. And I'm going to catch it in my little container here as I open this up. So far, I'm just getting husk. Don't really need that. In there. Right there are about three or four seeds. Going right into the container here. There we go. There we go, there we go. It's about the size of an onion seed. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put those in the yard because I love that flower. I think this is one, isn't it? Hmm, huh. can't even pick it up. So I got to do this over the Tupperware. Look at that, I've got a couple more that fell out as I was sitting there. There's one more. Anyway, doing yourself a favor if you harvest your dead flowers and grab the seeds. That way you don't always have to buy new packets all the time.